Hey everybody, welcome back to Soul Monade. This is Sonia Doswell and we have the distinct honor and privilege today to interview somebody very exciting right here at Goals in Motion in Urbandale, Iowa. Hey, I hope y'all have had a great week. We have been very busy. We just wrapped up uh, interviewing Cloverton. We saw them in concert. They did a phenomenal job. We just wrapped up the Iowa Motion Picture Association Award Ceremony again last week and all that footage will be coming out soon. So stay tuned to that. And you'll see all of the photographs from all the guests who were there, uh, in addition to those who won all of the awards. So back to today's interview, we are going to be introducing to you Mark McDonald. Mark McDonald is an amazing man of health and nutrition. He is a uh, fitness uh, coach, a personal coach. He is an expert in the area of nutrition and in fitness. He is a contributor to CNN, and if you've been paying attention, you may have seen him on Dr. Oz as well. So we're gonna go ahead and go to a break. We'll be back in just a moment. Go ahead and sit down, grab that pen and notepad, because you're going to want to take notes. Hey, y'all. All right. We are back from the break. We have Mark McDonald in the house with us. Well, actually, it's not the house. This is Goals in Motion, as I'd mentioned before, in Urbandale, Iowa. And a shout out to Marty and Sandy for opening up their facility, allowing us to conduct this interview here today. But we have Mark with us. And without any further ado, I would like to introduce to you this amazing nutrition and fitness expert, Mark McDonald. Mark, how are you today? Sonia, I'm great. Let's <laughs> hug it out. I'm a hugger. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having me on. That works, so am I. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a zillion questions for you. Okay. In fact, I think we're, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have this show be a part one and a part two, so stay tuned. We have a lot of ground to cover and a lot of information that we want to get out to our Solmanad viewers. So talk to me, Mark, a little bit about your background. Where are you from? So I'm from San Mateo, California. Yes. I'm, a Bay, I'm a California Bay Area boy. And you know, I, I've always been an athlete. I love mm -hmm. working out. I, I just love the body. Mm -hmm. And I was like a lot of people, ate whatever I wanted growing up right. and trained really, really hard. Sure. And I was mm -hmm. able to stay lean that way. And yeah. then the moment that I stopped playing soccer in college, mm -hmm put on 60 pounds because I can't, I want to what I call the pizza diet. <laughs> I'd eat pepperoni pizza every single day. I'd have my ice cream and I took the exercise out. I went mm -hmm. gained 60 pounds. Ooh. And then just like a lot of people, I freaked out. Mm -hmm. Cut my calories, cut my carbohydrates, mm -hmm. cranked up the exercise again, took right. my body fat down to 4% and lived as a fitness model. 4% body 4%. fat. 4%. Is that impressive or what? Impressive, but guess what? I looked amazing and felt horrible. And yeah. I lived as a fitness model the next four years mm -hmm. looking that way and suffering and you know as an athlete i used exercise to stay lean sure as a fitness model dieting i think that's the problem right now is that mm -hmm. that's what people do mm -hmm. you know we're, we're searching for what to, how to take back control of our body and we just don't know how mm -hmm. so and and i grew up every single day watching my mom eat diet foods with right. my sister lori oh, sugar-free fat sugar free free, this. exactly yeah. and then yo-yo <laughs> back and forth mm -hmm. and then myself and my dad and my sister chris eat normal food Right. And I just never understood food, even though it's kind of been my life's work, my mm -hmm. life's passion. So it wasn't exactly modeled for you in your home then? No, it wasn't modeled at all. You know, my, my mom, her, the, the tough thing is my mom, her number one thing in life mm -hmm. was she wanted to have my, myself and my sisters not struggle with weight. Mm -hmm. they, she wanted us to not suffer the way she suffered. Mm -hmm. So she did her best. But she was still a dieter. She was sure. doing what she was being taught. She was willing to do the work, just like everyone is. They're mm -hmm. willing to do the work. They go see a health expert, but right. then that expert teaches them the wrong concepts. Mm -hmm. So they, they, they do it, they lose the weight, and then life pushes back and they regain everything because they're taught broken concepts. They are taught broken concepts. And in fact, that gets me to the point of this whole yo-yo dieting thing. Can we talk a little bit about Venice Nutrition? Yeah. So in 1999, I realized that there's got to be a better way. We have to be able to eat the foods we love and still feel great. Like mm -hmm. you should look and feel good, not have to suffer right. on either end. So what I realized with all my background and studying about blood sugar stabilization mm -hmm. is that rather than using food to lose weight, right. we should use food to create hormonal balance through stabilizing your blood sugar. Hormonal balance. And y'all know here at Solmanad, I'm always talking about <laughs> fitness and health for women over 40, well, 35, 40, 45 or so, and how hormones are uh, a key part of uh, balance for us in life and living a life that is a, a life of fullness and richness in all areas. Hormones are very powerful. They affect us in many different ways. Can we talk more specifically about hormones here for just a moment? Of course. Yeah, when you talk about well, blood sugar is the key to that. Mm -hmm. right. So like when you look, think of a baby. Okay. Baby feeds every three to four hours. 
They yes. had a balance of protein, fat, and carbohydrates. They yes. stop eating when they're satisfied, eat again when they're hungry. Right. When you skip a meal, mm -hmm. when you when you when you exercise on an empty stomach, you miss a meal, your blood sugar drops. Okay. You overlease a hormone called glucagon, and that makes you burn muscle. Ah. Not fat. You hear that? Slows you down. Burn muscle, not fat. <laughs> and then you go into that next meal, not craving chicken or tuna, you crave right. carbohydrates, ah. and that makes you overeat. You overlease the hormone insulin that makes you store fat. Mm -hmm. This is why diets help people. Like they, it excites them mm -hmm. because they can suck it up for 90 days, sure. suffer, get a result, and then it pushes Instant back. Instant results almost. In Instant some results, cases. and then they fail long term. So blood sugar is all about just going back to being a baby. Just mm -hmm. we're bigger babies. That's okay. all it is. I like we're that. eating in threes, a balance of protein, fat, carbohydrates, mm -hmm. with a balance with, with eating every three hours from the moment you wake to the moment you sleep. Okay. So when you do that, you balance your blood sugar hormones, which mm -hmm. creates overall a hormonal balance, balances your thyroid, your overall metabolism, your adrenal gland everything we want and we talk like menopause mm -hmm. estrogen and progesterone with women yes this helps stabilize everything okay. just by eating to create hormonal balance not through dieting okay so talk to me again about this eating every three hours mm -hmm. and the emphasis on that you also have a system that that you believe in that's so important uh, about eating in threes can you explain to our viewers what that means yeah it, eating in threes is just like being a baby again mm -hmm. eating from the moment you wake mm -hmm. to the moment you sleep check it out protein affects that hormone glucagon Carbs affect that hormone insulin. Fat slows down digestion. Okay. Eating a balance, like kind of dividing your plate in three, about 35% protein, about 35% carbs, about 30% fat, keeps your blood sugar balance. Okay. So just eating every three hours, mm -hmm. a balance of protein, fat, carbohydrates. So okay. basically dividing your plate in three. Mm -hmm. And that allows you to stabilize your blood sugar, release your stored fat, and then that fat gets burned up in your muscle. And that's what I started in 1999. Venice Beach, California. Mm -hmm. I started working just like we're gonna work. I worked with <laughs> you, worked the client just like you to help people take back control of their body and yes. health. Yes, mm -hmm. and we'll talk about that a little bit because yes. he is going to be helping me. We're gonna have surgery. some fun together, huh? <laughs> yes, we are indeed. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and have our producer make sure to put this up on the screen for you. So the concept of the threes is is eating give or take pretty much every three hours. So, every three so hours. eating throughout the day. That's something that I believe in, and, and I try to hold on to that. Mm -hmm. I, I have uh, my bag of, of natural um, almonds, yeah. walnuts, um, pistachios that are in the car, salt-free, of course. <laughs> <laughs> not, not draped in any sugars or anything. Um, an apple, uh, a banana, not too often because it is a little bit higher in yeah. sugar. Um, and eating something every three hours. So even if even if you are on the go and you don't have time to grab a full meal with all three of those, have something that, that is accessible because it's better to have a little bit of something than nothing. But the ideal is to have all three parts, correct? Yeah, so the deal is this. Mm -hmm. So if you just do some almonds, which are, which are fat, Mm -hmm. nuts and you do like a little bit of apple which would be a carbohydrate sure if that if you're in a jam and that's all you have go for it if you're well, in a jam but we want to learn from that that's not something you repeat right. when you're in a jam you then have to say where's my protein so the okay. three questions you ask yourself every single meal mm -hmm. where's my protein mm -hmm. where's my fat where's my carbohydrate okay. and when you know those three you can eat anywhere, any place, any time. Mm -hmm. See, what people are looking for is to be empowered about understanding food. And when you understand food, you take back control of your body, you take back control of your health, and you can unlock everything about your body's full potential. And continue to live your life to the fullest. Exactly, and not just for yourself, but you don't have to relive the life I lived mm -hmm. in the sense of my mom dieting Sure. With my sister Lori and my dad and my sister Chris eating on separate foods at the dinner table. Mm -hmm. It works for you. It works for my eight-year-old son. Yes. It works for my wife who mm -hmm. has fibromyalgia. It works for everybody mm -hmm. because it's blood sugar based, based upon the root of physiology. Okay, so can you give us a couple examples uh, about the three? So you're looking at a breakfast plate, for example. Mm -hmm. give, give us two examples of, of a breakfast that would be acceptable that, that's embracing uh, the threes. I love it. So if you're mm -hmm. on a go, quick meal. Could be mm -hmm. Greek yogurt would be your protein. Yes. Mm -hmm. Some nuts, like some almonds, yeah. would be your fat. Okay. And then some blueberries or raspberries mm -hmm. or any Yum. type of fruit would be that. Now, that's a meal that takes three minutes. Now, another one, like let's say you love eggs. Okay. You can do, a lot of times people will do like four whole eggs. Mm -hmm. That's a little too much fat because each right. yolk has got five grams mm -hmm. of fat. So for someone like yourself, you might do three egg whites and mm -hmm. one yolk. That gives you your that's protein exactly and your fat. That's exactly what I do. The there one whole egg and the three egg whites. Perfect. And you can have 
You can throw some veggies in that, like mm-hmm. some pepper, some spinach, and then you can have a little bit of oatmeal or some fruit okay. or a slice of bread. Okay. So one of those carb choices. Sounds so you got your protein, enough. fat, and carb. And that could be when you wake up, that's what you could utilize. Okay, so let's go ahead and move forward to lunch then. What, what could lunch look like? Well, we got to look at mid-morning. Okay. So the two biggest pitfalls for people mm-hmm. is they can get that breakfast in, they can get the lunch and dinner. We'll mm-hmm. take those foods you love, right. teach you how to make it work. Mid-morning and mid-afternoon. Mid-morning could be a protein bar. And mm-hmm. what you're looking for is the equal balance of protein and carbohydrates. Not a lot of carbs, but equal amounts. Okay. Or it could be like cottage cheese, mm-hmm. nuts and fruit. could be like some Yum. edamame. A mm-hmm. lot of times, like we call it a mobile readiness food kit. could be like turkey jerky, mm-hmm. nuts and fruit. That mm-hmm. would be a mid-morning. Okay, so it's a smaller meal, the mid-morning and the mid-afternoon in between I, the it, breakfast and lunch and lunch and dinner? It could be equal. Okay. It's could all be because equal. it's calories per meal, not per day. See, okay. we're working on this. Okay. So we think work snack. Work in progress. Work in progress. <laughs> it's going to rock it. So <laughs> snacks... We used to think that's just to hold us over. That's eating healthy. Mm-hmm. The difference is we're teaching you how to eat correctly. Okay. Every meal has an equal amount of protein, fat, carbs. Now, if you're not hungry mid-morning, you do, mm-hmm. can do a half a meal. Okay, got that. I'm taking mental notes as well. <laughs> Why don't you all just hold tight just a moment. We're going to go ahead and take a break here. A word from our sponsors, and we'll be right back to continue our interview with Mark McDonald. Hey, y'all, welcome back from the break. So we are sitting here with nutrition and fitness expert Mark McDonald, picking his brain for a couple segments here. And we're just going to go ahead and pick up where we left off. So we were at lunch, correct? Can you please give myself and our viewers a couple examples of what a really healthy, balanced uh, lunch that involves all of the threes that we're talking about in the first segment? Okay, give us an example, please. It's got to be either salad or a sandwich. Okay, Okay. so let's start with the salad. I know people love that. So you can take your protein source so people okay. love chicken yes so you do some grilled chicken mm-hmm. um you would loaded all of the lettuce and peppers and tomatoes mm-hmm. so make that and preferably then organic yeah exactly yeah <laughs> <laughs> and then you could do a fat like an avocado okay but if Yum. you if you'd rather do like an oil and vinegar you would mm-hmm. do that but if you do avocado do balsamic vinegar mm-hmm. as your dressing that doesn't have fat because avocado would be the fat mm-hmm. so that would be a salad now a sandwich could be like a turkey wrap so you could do turkey, like turkey slices, low sodium preferably, yes. um, lettuce and tomato. Mm-hmm. You can do some cheese on that, which is protein and fat. Mm-hmm. Um, or if you didn't want to do the cheese, you can do a little bit of mayo, something like that, mm-hmm. or avocado. Mm-hmm. And then you can simply do a low carb wrap to bring it all together. Mm-hmm. You know, that makes sense. Isn't that doable, guys? Personally, I like to have my salads and my wraps and and, uh, sandwiches moist. And so what I've been able to train myself to do over the years is to ixnay on the... Ixnay, I like that. (laughs) (laughs) The barbecue sauce and the ketchup and the mayo. I mean, you don't have to deny yourself like you just said, but, you know, I used to love those things. But uh, the sugar in so many of these things is is just through the roof. So because I like a lot of moisture, I like to um, uh, involve uh, salsa, Mm -hmm. which can be high sodium but it's good it just good clean salsa fresh yeah. it is best um, tomatoes and uh, to spread a nice avocado you know half of an avocado on there on the two pieces mm-hmm. of bread you get your moisture that way yeah. and the fats this is making sense yeah y'all getting this capiche Pro- protein fat carbs so wherever you are whether you're at home whether you're mm-hmm. on a business trip whether you're out of state out of the country okay. once you get it you can eat anywhere okay Anywhere. Anywhere. You don't just have to go to the menu and look for the little locale mm-hmm. logo on the side, whether it's a yellow pepper instead of a red one or whatever it is, right? I never look at that. All I do look at a menu is where's my protein, okay. where's my fat, where's my carb. Okay. And then most restaurants, mm-hmm. like 99.9% will customize it to you. You know, they will. And that is something that, that bothers my children. They say that I'm far too picky when I go into restaurants because I'm forever asking them to customize. And they are most uh, willing to accommodate and, of course, tip them well. Always tip your servers well, especially exactly. for excellent service, I right? I thousand percent agree <laughs> with that. Well, the whole thing is this. Like, you're going in a restaurant, and restaurants mm-hmm. need to make food taste good. So they're going to load it with things. Mm-hmm. So you're paying for food. Right. So make sure it's the food you want. Mm-hmm. I, I So many of my clients, they feel like they feel uncomfortable Asking for food, you have to you you have to order it the way you want it. A comes before and you, B. Yes, and you're not being a pain. I mean, that's that's what it is. So, right. and if a restaurant won't accommodate you, don't don't do business to that restaurant. That's my that's my that's my advice. Well, there's enough to choose from out there. Exactly. Pretty much everybody is. So I agree with you. If they're not going to accommodate you, kick them to the curb and move on. Right. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to that mid-afternoon snack, which really isn't a snack we're learning. Yes. It truly is another meal. So yeah. let's talk about that. So a lot of people like string cheese and mm-hmm. an apple. 
A lot mm -hmm. of people also like like turkey jerky, like a perky jerky is mm -hmm. a nitrate free turkey jerky. Yes, we like My, nitrate yeah, free. Yeah, nitrate free is very good. Mm -hmm. Only have 110 milligrams of sodium. So you could do like some turkey jerky with some nuts and fruit. Okay. Like nuts and fruit become staples because yes. you can all, they travel easily. Mm -hmm. And then you just need quick protein sources. Mm -hmm. um, you could do a couple egg whites that are already, that, that are hard boiled. Um, you can do a protein bar. A lot of people mm -hmm. love mid morning, mid afternoon. Yes. Very easy to do a protein bar that mm -hmm. works there. So those are some quick al alternatives that you can do mid afternoon. You know, I love my protein bars and my protein shakes. I I try to be um, uh, quite uh, particular with it, though. You know, to be careful not to have too many artificial ingredients that that are involved in that. But can you throw out a name for a few? I mean, doesn't Monavi have some items that are out there on the market yeah. today? So, so there's a couple products that I really love. So like when we talk about oh, meal, please tell us. <laughs> <laughs> when we talk about meal replacements, what I care about is does it have an equal amount of protein, fat, carbohydrates? Okay. Does it have the right quality protein? What you're looking for is a hydrolyzed whey mm -hmm. or a whey isolate. Mm -hmm. um, and then does it have antioxidants to protect your cells? Because mm -hmm. that stiffness and soreness, that inflammation, yes. that fat burning capability is all about mm -hmm. antioxidants. So what I love is Monavi, we partnered, my company Venice Nutrition and Monavi, mm -hmm. we created to me, I brought in the greatest protein mine, we created a product called RVL and we created mm -hmm. a meal replacement that is 18 grams of protein, 18 carbs, six grams of fat, okay. and it stabilizes your blood sugar, provides mm -hmm. you with antioxidants, mm -hmm. and a bar called RVL. So that's one, the okay. RVL line I love from Monavi. Okay. I also mm -hmm. love a gluten-free bar called Advanced Athletics. Mm -hmm. High quality or think thin bar. And then if, if you're looking for something else, you can also do like a power crunch bar. And so who makes the, the, the second bar that you brought up? The Advanced Athletic is made mm -hmm. by Advanced Athletics. Okay. Made from one of my friends mm -hmm. who's a gluten free, that, like the cleanest bar you can <laughs> eat. Um, warning, it's a, it's a little expensive, but it's a great, it's That's a okay. great bar. Who is it? Where are they? Yeah, Tell so us. you'd have to go to advancedathletics.com mm -hmm. for okay. that. Okay. And then Think Thin and Power Crunch you can get everywhere. But my choice is RVL, Reveal mm -hmm. that we call it. It's the only hydrolyzed way antioxidant product meal replacement. That's the bar and shake that I recommend and that's the one I use. Okay, and if our Solmonad viewers are interested in acquiring that product or mm -hmm. those products, where can they go to get that? So for Monavi, you can go mm -hmm. to monavi.com. Okay, can you um, spell that out for our viewers? It's M-O-N-A-V-I-E. Um, dot com and you can find a lot of times Monavi has a lot of local representation in mm -hmm. your community you can mm -hmm. find someone sure. who utilizes that in Iowa mm -hmm. there's a great amount yes, so there is an abundance. right there you can go and you can start utilizing the products mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So you can have that in the afternoon uh, as that meal number four, correct? Mm -hmm. So now that we're moving on and it's dinner time, whether you're eating at home or you're eating out in a restaurant, what does dinner look like? Yeah, so dinner is going to be, so you, now we've got our blood sugar stable, yes. so you're not going to dinner starving. So right there, that's when you can actually do something. So do you like steak maybe? Mm -hmm. Or maybe you like salmon. Mm -hmm. So steak or salmon, yes. yeah. So that's going to be a protein and a fat. Mm -hmm. So that would be your protein and right. fat. Mm -hmm. And then you could do like some sweet potato. Mm -hmm. Could be a carbohydrate or some brown rice. Sure. And then you could have some some veggies like asparagus or broccoli. Love brown rice. Now, and asparagus. Mm. Exactly. Now Chelsea Handler, mm. yes. as you mentioned, wrote the forward for Body Confidence. Uh -huh. She loves alcohol. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people say, how can I have my wine? So if you want to have alcohol, just take out that starchy carbohydrate like sweet okay. potato or rice. Okay. And then that's gonna get your blood sugar rocking. So now we got five meals mm -hmm. going, setting you up for the last meal. Okay, and when you talk about wine, of course we're going to have the higher antioxidant in the red wine as opposed to the white wine. Um, what about folks who have martinis? Uh, people talk about you know the, the skinny beverages that are out there today and there's you know fewer uh, amount of calories and all that. It isn't necessarily about the calories as much as it is about how it breaks down in the body, correct? Yeah, it, it depends on how you're going to, what do you want to get from the alcohol? So when we look at if you want to get from the alcohol, because mm -hmm. um, it, it's all about like like straight vodka mm -hmm. or wine mm -hmm. um, are going to give you better of a, of, a, of a intoxication if that's mm -hmm. what the goal is. Sure. Beer is going to make you store a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So overall, you're better to eat cleaner, less processed alcohol. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and, and really be careful. Like I wrote in Body Confidence, my book about someone who said they're gonna drink three glasses of wine and okay. I thought a glass was okay until mm -hmm. I went to her house mm -hmm. and she was, she was showing me what her glass size was. <laughs> and it was 24 ounces was of wine. <laughs> so so my, this is the deal, a shot of vodka right. or six ounces of wine, Truly that could be a serving. glass. Yes. yes, and alcohol gets broken down in your body before mm -hmm. food. So okay. when you drink too much, mm -hmm. then that food that you eat gets stored. Mm -hmm. So it's all about moderation of everything. 
Okay. All about moderation, you know, and in life, isn't it just so much all about moderation yes. in so many aspects? <laughs> it truly it's, is. It's, it's all about balance, right? <laughs> yes. And then, and then now you're set up for that last mm. meal. Okay. And that sixth meal, what I love is I do the Monavi RVL shake. Mm -hmm. So I love doing a meal replacement shake before bed. Um, a lot of other people, some people do like edamame before mm -hmm. bed. Some people might take a little bit of like cereal with some milk and put a scoop of protein powder in it. Okay. Protein that I, that I love is called Protoway, made mm -hmm. by a company called BNRG. It's a great protein powder. Okay. So you can you can go with that, and you can take like the meal replacements or the bars, and you can utilize them wherever you think it's necessary. We talked about when you're in a jam, you need a mobile readiness food kit because you right. said when you're busy, yeah. maybe you just do almonds or some fruit. Mm -hmm. That's where a bar or shake fits in perfectly. perfectly. So when you know how to look for the right products, you're set up to win. You know, I always have a protein bar in my purse. In fact, I have one right now. I always have one in my flight bag. I always have one in the car. And then, of course, you know, it's stockpiled at home. Yep. Always have those just in case, you know, if I'm at a pinch because it's so much better to have something than to skip and to go without. Exactly. You know, can you talk a little bit more about the skipping of meals? Uh, I know you touched on it a little bit earlier, yeah. but can you please just reiterate the importance of, of eating as opposed to skipping meals? And can you tell our viewers exactly what is happening to the human body when you're starving yourself. Yeah, you know, you know, the challenge is a lot of times, you know, you might be thinking to yourself, wait a second, that, that's a little too much food. You know, the reality is that if you're not hungry, you do a half meal. You mm -hmm. could simply do a couple egg whites, some nuts, sure. and a little fruit. But when you skip meals, mm -hmm. your blood sugar drops and you burn muscle. That is slowing down your metabolism. Your body cannot convert that, that low blood sugar, they cannot convert fat to feed the brain the sugar it needs, so mm -hmm. it must eat muscle. Then you go in, you overeat, and you store <laughs> fat. Right. So it has to be small, consistent meals that are balanced, that balances your hormones, sets your body up to win, okay. and allows you to release stored fat consistently. And you have so many people that are in the gym, live in the gym, such as myself, yes. all these gym rats, and if we're burning the, the muscle, that defeats the very purpose. <laughs> and there's no workout that can outwork a bad food plan. Mm -hmm. You know, I had the rotator cuff surgery and labrum repair end of December, and I've, as you can tell, put on 15 pounds. And those 15 pounds, they need to go. But most importantly, the inches need to go, the body fat percentage needs to drop back down, and I need to be a size 8 once again. So Mark's going to help me. He's the expert, and we'll... So y'all be blessed in whatever you put your hands to do. And until later, ciao.